Very interesting things happening here in Arizona. We have our chairman who says that nothing out of the ordinary is taking place. You see this gentleman, Bill Gates, not that Bill Gates. This guy is sort of known as the onesie twosie Bill Gates here in Arizona, because that's how he refers to our political process here. We just got some onesies and twosie things to kind of uh, button up and then you'll get the results when we're good and ready and not a moment sooner. And so he's out there saying, you know, none of this stuff is really out of the ordinary. We're just counting votes, onesie, twosie, threesie, foursie, doesn't matter. It's all coming in and everything is normal. But when we look around and take a look at some of these other clips, you know, there's some interesting things going on. And I want to be careful here. I'm not implying that there's any sort of, uh, you know, theft or S words or F words or any of the words that we got to be careful with here because we don't even have results yet. There's not even an outcome yet. But we do have questions about the process. We have questions about the law. We have questions about whether this is what we want to see as Arizonans, as Americans, as the incompetent sort of processing of these votes drags on and on and on and leaves many people throughout America wondering what the heck is going on over there. So we're going to check in with him. There's also this new report or this new tweet that was uncovered from the county recorder. His name is Stephen Richer. Evidently, he was supporting this pro-democracy GOP PAC, which is a political action committee. And a lot of people are asking questions about whether there is a conflict of interest. So we've got several clips from Mr. Bill Gates. He's also responding to Carrie Lake. And this is kind of getting adversarial at this point. He's sort of pushing back and he's saying she is out of line and she doesn't deserve credibility. This is the county supervisor, Bill Gates, who is telling us that everything in Arizona is perfectly normal. There's nothing strange here. This is just the law and it's going to take some time to count the votes and you're just going to have to deal with it. So, you know, we have laws that allow people five business days to cure uh, either a signature or uh, their ID. If they don't have ID, they can vote a conditional provisional ballot. They have five business days to come and present the identification. So that, for us, that takes us through Wednesday, right? Wednesday, Wednesday of next week. So again, this is very common. I know people are very anxious to get yeah. the results, but there's nothing out of the ordinary here. And the reason that, again, we love having you guys all here, the reason you're here is because these races are so close. Perfectly normal, not much to even scoff at. I mean, you know, it's just for the process. And it's Bill Gates communicating that this is just how things are done in Arizona. But it's interesting because some people have noticed a couple things that are out of the ordinary. In fact, some people are calling attention to this tweet. Let's pull this one up. Saw that, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't exist. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure I copied and pasted this right before I uh, freak out on myself here. Cause I might've just, that might just be a bad link. So hold on a minute. Let's see here. Uh, Steven Richer status. I wonder if that tweet was deleted. Uh, very curious. I'm not gonna be able to find it here in real time, I'm sure of it. But this was what the screenshot looked like. Uh, if you're over there on Locals, could you do me a solid and see if you could find this tweet? I might have just copy and pasted the link wrong, but this is what I took a screenshot of earlier. And I'm gonna be very curious if he deleted this puppy or not. I took a screenshot. I don't know if he deleted it or not yet, but, or I could have just copied and pasted it wrong. I don't know if it's deleted. I don't wanna jump the gun on this. But this is the screenshot that I took earlier today. Here's what it said. Stephen Richer is retweeting, quote tweeting, a post from Meg Cunningham. You see Meg Cunningham posted this November 17th, 2021, saying this, news. Oh my goodness. Stephen Richer, the Maricopa County recorder, is launching a PAC, political action committee, to support ours running for non-federal Arizona offices who, quote, acknowledge the validity of the 2020 election and condemn the events of J6 as a terrible result of the lies told about the November election. Wow, Meg Cunningham, she's a reporter. She's posting all about this. She posted that on November 17th, 2021. Ew, interesting. Now, what you'll notice is this individual, Stephen Richer, Maricopa County recorder, on his personal account, mind you, quote, tweeted this and said, thanks to a few generous donors, this is now launching. Join me 
says Stephen Richard. This guy's in charge right now, by the way. Let's take a look at who he is in particular. All right, we're gonna go over to Stephen Richer. And if we're here, you see him. Stephen Richer, Maricopa County recorder. This is his personal account. Guy loves Diet Coke, sports, hip hop, fantasy books, classic fiction, business cookies, management, strategy games, shout out, word games, bread, cats, writing, wife and family. Well, that's good. Wife and family there, uh, sort of there, you know, bringing up the rear. Okay. So a lot there. Now he is evidently a conservative person. He says, my letter of sorts to my beloved GOP party on the audit that was taking place, right? He's got a statement and he has been at the forefront. We've watched him many times give us updates from the podium. Okay. This is him, Stephen Richer, Maricopa County recorder. Now, very curious on this account. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if I can find that tweet. Do we get a confirmation uh, whether that tweet has been? Let's see here. I don't know if it was deleted or not, my friends, but we are going, let me show you what the rest of it says, because this is good stuff. Here, it says, thanks to a few generous donors, this is now launching. Join me if you care about traditional Republican stuff. You know, free people, love it. Free markets, love that. Rule of law, love that also. But he says, but also don't believe in conspiracies about the 2020 election or that January 6th was a tourist event. Uh, no, I don't think it was a tourist event. I don't think that a lot of people have been saying, I mean, we've been joking about that. It's been a joke, but it's also not the insurrection of America. Okay, so... It's not like a bunch of lawn chairs blew over. Got that. And it's also not like America was insurrected and almost seized. Okay. It wasn't that either. Weirdos. So how about we just come in the middle and we just sort of, you know, have a rational conversation about it. But that's all beside the point. This is the Maricopa County recorder and he is publishing on his Twitter account links to pro-democracy GOP. My goodness, what is the pro-democracy GOP? He says that if you believe in, you know, Republican stuff like I do, and you don't believe in those conspiracies, you know, like people like, I don't know, Carrie Lake does, people like mm, Blake Masters does, people like Abe or Mark, any of these other individuals, right? They're the conspiracy theorists. They're the bad GOPers. They're the bad Republicans. Join the good Republicans. All you have to do is click right on over to prodemocracygop.com. Now let's take a look at that because there's a whole website over there that is very bare and this is what it looks like. So let's see if we can turn off the dark mode. This is the pro-democracy Republicans pack started or supported at least by Maricopa County recorder, Stephen Richer. Huh, that's interesting. The same guy who's working on elections in Arizona counting the votes. Here's what he started after January 6th in 2021. He said, the pro-democracy Republicans, and we've heard this phrase all over the stinking place, I'm getting tired of it, uh, saving our democracy everywhere we turn, fighting to keep our democratic institutions alive. Beautiful, beautiful thought, beautiful, meaningless phrase. Join the movement, give us your email address, and if you want to join, it's very easy. What do you get? Access to their newsletter, where they say our democratic institutions are long-lasting, and peaceful transitions of power are the hallmark of the United States. We should not abandon this history in favor of conspiracy theorists. And I wonder who he called, you know, I mean, would he call Kerry Lake that? Yes, obviously. And demagogues. They write, the Arizona election wasn't stolen. We Republicans simply had a presidential candidate who lost, is what they said. While we had other candidates who won, many of them. It's time we Republicans accept and acknowledge this. Candidates come, candidates go, but our democratic institutions are long lasting and peaceful transitions of power are the hallmark of the United States. We should not abandon this history in favor of conspiracy theorists or demagoguery. To that end, we are launching this pact to support pro-democracy Arizona Republicans. This is the county attorney, this is the county recorder who, who counts the votes. Says we hope you will join us. We will win some races, we will lose some races, but either way, we're gonna be strengthening the processes that have long undergirded Arizona and the United States. Huh, that's very interesting. So we have this entire, entire pack created 
by Stephen Richer, who posted this back on November 17, 2021. Thanks for joining me to go after those conspiracy theorists. Now, many of those conspiracy theorists would be people that I guess, I guess he would call he would call Carrie Lake supporters. Those conspiracy theorists he would call anybody who supported Trump or who had questions about anything conspiracy theorists and tourist events. People people calling J six a tourist event. Now that's interesting because there's a little bit of a conflict of interest there, right? Wouldn't it be curious? And shout out to Maddie Williams in the house who gave us an update on this, who said the following, Richer deleted the tweet. Huh. Very, very interesting. I thought he did. And thank you to Maddie Adams for confirming that for us. You know, it's hard to do a search and find and find some of that stuff in real time, but he did. Oh, <laughs> Oh, very curious. Yeah, because it is a conflict of interest. Now, just because that exists doesn't mean that there is some nefarious activity there, but it's very curious, right? You, you can see what the political disposition of this person is and what he feels about people like Carrie Lake and others. And so we are going to get from uh, to more from Bill Gates. Of course, this guy says that uh, everything's perfectly ordinary, everything's perfectly normal, but at the same time, I don't really have any idea where these ballots came from. We've got several more clips from him, including Bill Gates responding to Carrie Lake, saying that she's basically inappropriate. He's sort of kind of, you know, giving her the old uh, attack. But first, my friends, we've got to check in with our sponsor, our friends over at Gold Co. If you have a 401k or a savings account, things are very scary out there. The Biden administration has already printed more money in the past two years than the previous 100 years combined. The national debt hit around $30 trillion. Inflation is the highest we've seen since 1982. It's only a matter of time since the House of Cards comes crashing down. If you have retirement and savings, your money could be at serious risk. And so I'd invite you to talk to my friends over at Gold Co. See how you can protect your retirement in gold and silver before it's too late. Go to the link on your screen, robertlikesgold.com. They'll give you $10,000 or more in free silver when you open up a qualifying account. That's over at robertlikesgold.com. They are rated by the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating, and they're an amazing sponsor and friend of the show. So thank you for supporting my friends at Gold Co. Go to robertlikesgold.com to see how they can help you. All right, my friends. And so we've got updates from Bill Gates, and he's got several different clips for us where he is confirming that he's got no idea where any of these ballots came from. And so I want to play this clip for you here. This is Bill Gates. A lot of people have questions about the counting. What's taking so long? And what is left outstanding? Do you have other ballots left? And can you tell us where they came from? A thousand of these that are actually election day votes in person. And then the rest of the 75,000 are late earlies dropped off on election day. We do not know where these are from. These could be from anywhere in the county all 75,000. This is not picked out of a certain area. These are not pulled by precinct. Uh, and so then the, just give us the remaining universe and when we should expect Can those. you tell us the final end date? Yes. So we're now left with about 275,000 ballots to count and the lion's share, the overwhelming majority of these remaining votes are early ballots that were dropped off on election day. Okay, so you can see where part of the question comes in. If they dropped off a bunch of ballots on election day, and in Arizona, you can sort of drop off your ballot anywhere. You don't have to drop it to a certain location. You can see why they might think that some of the ballots are sort of from one precinct dropped off in another precinct. Let's say, for example, somebody lives in the West Valley. They work on the East Side. They travel from the West Valley with their early ballot. They go work in the East Valley and the East side and then drop their ballot off over at a tabulation center near that location. So he's saying, well, we don't really know where they came from or what happened, but it's a big question, right? You know, it's, it's where, where do these ballots come from and who's putting what where? It seems like a lot of people have questions about how that can happen. And when do you think we'll get the results from those remaining uncounted ballots? 
We will continue in the rhythm that we've now established over the past few days. I would anticipate, again, one uh, ballot drop or you know one vote update per day in the evening, probably somewhere in this range that we've been somewhere around 60 to 80,000 a day, which would then make us uh, reach completion very early next week. Very early next very early the next week, and we still don't really have much of, uh, of an answer on sort of what that means or when we're going to get answers. Now, there are people who are saying, or sort of speculating that today is going to be the final drop that's really going to matter. And so we'll check back in around six o'clock and see if that, uh, if that hits. There was another tweet from uh, Victor. People are asking, where are all the votes coming from? You know, why is Katie Hobbs? Why did Mark Kelly, how did they win? Here's an update from this individual on November 11th. They said Maricopa County just released 75,000 new mail-in ballots. Mark Kelly now leads by nearly 115,000, while Katie Hobbs leads by nearly 27,000. Now here, all of that's sort of old news. Here's the breakdown though. This is where the issue is. 62% of young people voted Democrat in the early mail, larger than any other age group. That's here in Arizona. So all of uh, the youth are voting for the Democrats, uh, not a big surprise, but it's probably a trend you're seeing elsewhere. But that, I mean, that is probably a little unexpected here for Arizona, the, the, those massive, massive uh, differences. Now, we've seen some clips from Carrie Lake. Car Let's take a look at this story. Okay, so Carrie Lake, of course, we've listened to a lot of her out there in the media explaining that she thinks she's going to continue to win and that she feels confident about her victory here. This is County Supervisor Bill Gates. Bill Gates, the County Supervisor for Maricopa County, is being a little aggressive with Carrie Lake, saying that he disagrees with her opinion about how this election is being conducted. Well, Wolf, thanks for having me. And it's really sad to hear that we have the Republican nominee of governor for governor here in Arizona who's talking like that. I think, you know, the, the votes that were just released, 78,000, that doesn't happen magically. It happens because of the people behind me. All the people here in Maricopa County elections who are working so hard, they're working 14 to 18 hour days. Now, I understand that, and we've tried to be very empathetic for all of the people working in the, in the actual tabulation center. And every time we've had a video about this, right, we can all sort of, you know, groan about the slow delay. But I'm always trying to be very cautious about this because there are a bunch of volunteers in there who are donating their time. And we've watched on the Maricopa County tabulation videos. We can look in there and you see people looking at thousands of pages of documents. And, you know, I don't know about you, but when I went down to my polling place, you know, there's a lot of volunteers. I think a lot of people are probably veterans and sort of retired, you know, senior citizens and people who are really making sure that these gears continue to work. The problem I have is with the bureaucrats. It's with the people who create these PowerPoint slides and, you know, they whiteboard this whole thing out and they give us these lectures from behind their podiums on CNN about how any criticism of them is like a criticism of the people, okay? Nobody's criticizing the poll counters, Bill. People are criticizing you, dum-dum. They're not upset with the people who are, you know, like adjudicating these things. We know we've got a rabid Democrat and a Republican adjudicating these ballots. We got all of that. We have an issue with you and with the way that this entire thing has been conducted and how you continue to sort of scoff at the rest of us for saying what the hell is taking so long and how is it able to you, you able to conduct your affairs this way? And if you think that this is all normal, as he says, and all ordinary, we're going to get to a clip in a minute, but let's finish up with him here. Every day, we're about to go into a holiday weekend with Veterans Day, and they're going to continue to work those kind of hours on the holiday Friday. Okay, so he's taking the blame that is being levied towards him. Do you understand this technique? Carrie Lake says Bill Gates is an idiot. He says, I can't believe you're calling them idiots. I can't believe you're criticizing them. Nobody's criticizing them. We're criticizing you on Saturday and Sunday. And I understand that Carrie Lake wants us to move quickly and a lot of people do, but you know what's more important? Now, do you sense the tone, the disdain? He's counting the votes for Carrie Lake right now. And he hates her. Important is that this is done accurately. That is the focus. And that, you know, like for all of these mail-in ballots, that those are uh, signature verified. 
This is very important to me as an elected official that only eligible people, only eligible votes are counted. I would think that Carrie Lake would be interested in that as well. That I, she is interested in that. She just wants it done rapidly. That's something that I ran on on the Board of Supervisors. I support ID at the polls and all those things, they might take a little bit more time, but it ensures that only those eligible people are voting. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's Bill Gates. Now, of course, I don't. he doesn't want any responsibility. He doesn't want any blame. Everything is according to plan. This is Arizona. It's all pretty normal. Not a whole lot uh, to really, you know, get get all up in a tizzy about is what he's saying here. Just take your onesies and twosies and just calm down here. Don't get your hair all in a bunch. You know, it's weird, dude. We don't. The rest of us in Arizona don't talk like this guy. All right? I don't know. I don't know what what's going on here. But uh, this is now. This is an interesting clip because he's saying that. Uh, well, everything's normal, except it's not. County Supervisor Bill Gates says everything is going according to plan. This is how Arizona law works. It's been this way for many years. And the only difference is that that deadline that I gave you prior is not actually accurate anymore because actually everything is different this time. Sorry. 62,000 last night, but not significantly more. So if you're interested in that, pay attention at the eight o'clock hour. Um, so... I, why is it taking the amount of time that it's taking? A lot of people are talking about this. Well, yeah. first of all, it's the very standard. This is how things work in Arizona and have for decades. And decades. this is due in part because of mail-in voting and Recorder Richard's gonna talk about that more. But I told this group uh, that we anticipated 90 to 95 percent, or sorry, 95 to 99 percent of the ballots to be counted by Friday. That's tomorrow. But I'm here to tell you the goalposts have changed. Oh, weird. All right. Well, that's weird. Well, why did the goalposts change? If everything was normal and ordinary, and this is how we've been doing it in Arizona for the last several decades, and it's much ado about nothing. Everybody's talking about this, but it's all normal. Well, then why, Mr. Bill Gates, did you not meet your deadline that you gave to us yourself on Friday? If everything's normal, you're very much used to this process. You should have hit your target, no? Or are things not that usual and ordinary, which is why we now have a new target, which is now Wednesday or whenever you're done. So which is it? Is everything going appropriately by the books or not? Well, time is telling us that according to your own standards, you have to reset the goalposts. Why do you have to reset the goalpost if this is just standard? It's taking the business? amount of time that it's taking. A lot of people are talking about this. Well, first of all, it's very standard. This is how things work in Arizona. If you, it's standard, it's just like anything else. You order a pizza, it'll be ready in 20 minutes. Okay, great. If it takes two hours, then you have a question about it. It's not standard ordering of a pizza. And have for decades. And this is due in part because of mail-in voting and Recorder Richard's gonna talk about that more. But I told this group uh, that we anticipated 90 to 95 percent or sorry, 95 Wrong. to 99 percent of the ballots to be counted by Friday. Wrong. That's tomorrow. But I'm here to tell you the goalposts have changed. All right. And they worked all through the weekend and now it's Monday. So they're three days late and it's still not at 98 percent. So that's weird. I wonder how everything that is so ordinary and standard and nothing is strange, nothing's unusual, why we have to push a bunch of stuff back three days. I don't know. Weird. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe somebody in the media can ask him about that. But that is what is going on in Arizona. One final reminder, my friends, if you are in the state of Arizona and you want to make sure your ballot is counted, go to carrylake.com slash cure and check the, stat the status of your ballot. Of course, I did that. You can see my ballot was counted. I voted hard and fast and it was counted on 11, eight. It said you voted on election day. Your ballot was counted, but definitely go check if your ballot was not counted in the state of Arizona, because every vote is going to count on this one. So go check. I know you got the green thumbs up or you put it in the mail and you feel great about it, but go check carrylake.com slash cure. Now, let's take a quick look about what's happening or what's coming out. Of course, we've been following along with the data guru. He's got some updates for us. He says that we had a batch that came in from Pinal County. We're now at 94% complete. So we're getting closer and closer to 
what we saw as prognosticated from Mr. Bill Gates, that this thing should be done uh, today or tomorrow. We've got a breakdown, 51% from Pinal County. It's not that good for Cary Lake, if I got to be honest. Pinal, I think, should have been higher than that. Let's see what else we had. Yep, there was a war room. They're expecting a loss. Great. We've got another one. There was a press conference that took place earlier. Several of those clips came from those. And we're waiting for final ballot drops to take place tonight at about 6 o'clock Arizona time. So in about an hour and a half from now, you can see this is uh, some video from the scene where they're counting the ballots. Maricopa County coming in at 6 p.m. tonight. And so we'll check back in. We'll see if we are... Uh, still streaming when those votes come in, but it is looking very tight, not looking very, very uh, op, you know, good for several candidates out there in Arizona. But we will continue to cover that there will be a lot of fallout, undoubtedly. And so that is the update in Arizona. Thank you for liking this video wherever you're watching it. Thank you for subscribing and following. We'll continue to be here.